So welcome to lesson seven. We're gonna talk about the breathing, the breathing. We're going to talk about breathing and the breath today. I'm gonna to teach you a process called uh, the whispered ah, which comes out of the Alexander technique. But before I begin doing that, I just wanted to show you, you know, a picture is always worth a thousand words. And this is a really beautiful picture. It actually comes from the Stow Institute, which is an institute on functional breathing. And what I'm showing you in this picture is the skeleton, the, uh, the specifically um, notice the rib cage and that red portion in there is the muscle called the diaphragm. And so in breathing, in free breathing, we have some hardware that we want to be reminded of. And the, of course we have the, um, the spine and we have the ribs and we have the diaphragm. And then there's some muscles between the ribs called the intercostal muscles that help to assist the movement of breathing. So what I've been doing and playing with um, as I've been speaking is I'm flipping over this chart because if you notice, the rib cage is actually a different shape at the end of the exhale and the diaphragm has come higher into the body, very much higher into the ribs, almost like a little dome shape. And then just at the beginning of the inhale, the diaphragm starts to move down in space a little bit and pushes the ribs out. So this is the activity of breathing that we, you know, that we aren't even aware of is going on. But that diaphragm is a huge muscle. It's a very important muscle. It gets interfered with a lot through muscular tension, particularly tension in the back muscles. But that, that tension can come through the front as well. So what we're going to do today is just be take a comfortable seat in your chair, bring your feet to the floor, relax your shoulders. Talked a little bit about the freedom of the shoulder girdle yesterday and how the shoulder girdle can relax and widen and just rest on the ribs. So we're continuing our rib story today and thinking about the functioning of uh, the breath and how important that is for uh, living a tension, uh, reduced tension life. So go ahead and just take a few moments. We're, gonna, we're going to do, I'm gonna take you through a process today called the whispered awe, which uh, was developed by FM Alexander, the founder of the Alexander Technique. And go ahead and take a breath in and out. So I want you to breathe in through the nose. Nice, easy breath in and then breathe out through the mouth. We're gonna get that going for a few breaths. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And if you remember this, this little picture, when we breathe in, the ribs are expanding out and up. And when we breathe out, they're relaxing down and in a little because the, there's a more of an oval shape of the rib cage. Breathe in and breathe out, exhale. Okay, so breathing in. Now I'm going to give you a few instructions here. And what we wanna do at the end of the inhale, you're not gonna hold your breath, like going, bringing the breath up and over a little hill. On the exhale, at the end of the exhale, I want you to pause momentarily. Just wait, don't do anything. All that breath has left the body. So we're waiting for the impulse, the electrochemical uh, impulse to tell the diaphragm that it needs to activate or engage. So that's what makes the diaphragm go down in the body and open the ribs, then the air comes rushing in. That's the 
actual technology of the breathing. So breathing happens. We don't have to take breath. So if you, you're ever told to take a deep breath in, it's not going to really be what your physio physiology is wanting for you. We want to allow that breath to come in because we've created an opening by pressing the diaphragm down and allowing the ribs to expand and let that air come in. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking now, but we're going to just follow this breath. And on the exhale, I want you to let a whispered ah sound, A-H, not H-A, but an ah sound come out. And it's just a whisper. You, it's barely audible. So breathing in. And wait. Close your lips and wait. Breathe in. Closing the lips and wait. Breathe in. One more, breathe in. And closing your lips and just breathe in and out through the nose now, very quietly to finish this little process. If you have any questions, you can write to me, uh, ask me any questions about this little process. I'd be happy to answer your question. So you'll write to Diane at healingintoabundance.com. And in the meantime, I'm going to encourage you to do this practice every morning as part of your morning rituals. As you have come into consciousness, maybe you've had your tea or your coffee sitting next to you for a while, but take your time and really invite this practice to give you some new insights about your breathing process. In the long run, this starts to uh, free the, the holding and the tensions that we tend to have in our breathing, uh, whether, whether it's postural um, habits that we've had over a long period of time to kind of press, press the spine up, to sit up straight. We want to bring that free, easy movability back to the breath, even when we're speaking, even when we're singing. So this is actually a process that you can use to improve your speaking voice and, of course, your, your singing voice as well. All right, this is Diane. I look forward to the next lesson with you. Have a good day.